In this video, we'll discover about tips to manage your scattered brain. It is advised that you do away with anything that will take away your attention off this section of the video course because of the few questions that would be asked. Try as much as possible to answer them sincerely and as best as you can. Do you have something you have to do, but it remains undone because there is no external push or deadline attached to it? Do you get distracted easily because everything in the world seems fascinating to you? Do you have a low motivation to begin something you would like to achieve? Do you usually veer off a task when you are at it? Do you think you want to do millions of things at once? May I inform you that you are a scattered brain if your answers to these questions are yes. Permit me to welcome you to the club. Surprised? You are not the only person in this circle of the scattered brain. There are thousands, and if not millions of such people out there. While it might seem like a negative thing, Understand that there is nothing wrong with not getting anything done or being distracted often. You can fall into a stressful trap of avoidance or even trying to cover up for lost times or something worse when it becomes constant. But to help you out of this situation, I will be offering some effective tips below to help you deal with your scattered brain. These tips have proven effective for hundreds of people and I believe they will also help you. However, ensure that you work with as many as you possibly can. Recognize what you have to do and prioritize. In a lot of productivity books and articles, this advice is emphasized. One cannot overstate the importance of this idea. It is simple, clear, and equally very effective in helping you deal with your scattered brain. You will never get the satisfaction of doing anything if you don't know what you want and stuff is just flying around in your head. You therefore have to make a list of everything that is on your mind. Ensure that you prioritize them accordingly. By doing so, you are telling your brain to stop bothering about the little thing and things that can wait and focus on the most important things. Break it down and make it simple. Choose one to start with and break it down to the simplest form of action once you have your list. And you can then determine your top two to three tasks. You shouldn't take more than 15 to 30 minutes to complete each step. Break it down further if it takes longer. Understand that if you have a smaller task, it would be easier to get it done and the more you would want to stick with it. What you are doing is telling your brain to stay with it for 15 minutes. Start the task and take it slowly. You might be tempted to speed things up just to save time, but don't. What it only does to your brain is to make it drift to what is next on your table. Instead of focusing on what you are doing now, the brain is designed to only focus on one thought at a time. You therefore have to only focus on what you have in front of you. Do things deliberately and slowly. Once you complete your task, you will feel better. Break is important. It is not advisable to work nonstop for hours. You will only burn out your energy, which will make you lack the motivation to continue again. Take a break and do something fun after completing a 15 to 30 minute task. You can read books, articles, or whatever you feel like doing. You can move, stretch, walk, or do something you like doing. All that matters is that you don't take much time. Five to 10 minutes is okay to do whatever you wanna do. Then go back to what you have to do. Take a longer break, an hour or so, once you complete four tasks. You are guilt-free and you can do other things. Practice focus. You need to learn how to meditate and do it if you want to have a laser-sharp focus. We all know that meditation is now mainstream and even easy to do. You necessarily don't have to spend hours meditating. All you need is just 15 to 30 minutes. Research the form of meditation that suits you, mantra or breathing. Anyone is fine. However, training your brain to relax is the most important thing, either through breathing or the mantra. Forget about the clock, work, and watch in the interval. You don't have to become obsessed with the clock. Take some time to forget about it. It's not important when you begin working on something. You can get a timer and set it to a time you think you will be able to complete a task. Ensure that the interval is no more than 30 minutes. Go for it when you start the timer. Until your time is up, don't stop. After that, you can take a break and repeat. Regardless of what time it is, pay attention to working and getting your tasks done. By so doing, instead of finding excuses to postpone things till the following day, you will be pushed to work. Until your interval is done, don't do anything else. While your time seems to be for a specific task, don't do anything else. Just sit still and think about the task until your time is up. If it is something that requires inspiration, such as writing, and it feels like you can't find your way. If you can't seem to get started on the task at hand, don't be tempted to do something else. Before you know it, you will get the needed inspiration. You will be surprised at how effectively a few minutes of silence can help usher in your master craft. Don't stop. Just pick up and start again if you fall off the wagon. You don't have a reason to give up. All you have to do is just check what and where you went wrong, correct it, and keep going. Always learn from your mistake and move on to the next interval or task. Remember, you can only become perfect by practicing. Shut down and reboot. 
Sometimes you have to give yourself a break from your task and to-do list and enjoy yourself. Keep your schedule free and avoid committing to anything. The time is meant for you to relax and nothing more. You can use the time to go on vacation and have fun with your loved ones. The purpose of this free time is to help you empty your mental cachet. Avoid squeezing in anything else during this period. You will feel motivated and energized to get back to your work after the break. Make it interesting. Whatever task you have to do, you can make it interesting for yourself. We all have a playful inner self. Embrace it. You can employ your imagination to explore and ensure that you make the task fun. You will be surprised that even what you find mundane could be entertaining. Imagine that someone is watching you and commending how awesome you have performed when you are working on a task. Or you can imagine that you are attempting to break your record or set a new record. You can converse with yourself as you work. Can you picture that? The results you will get at the end of the day are determined by where you choose to put your energy and focus. You, therefore, have to do what gives you the best result in the way you enjoy it the most. There is no turning back once you get going and keep going because things will get easier and you can start maximizing more of your mental power. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.